What's up guys, this is Nick from Idle Up, and who would have thought that putting a set of front and rear pegs on my motorcycle would cause me more frustration than putting a set of hard bags on it. Let's get into it. All right guys, now that my frustration's over and the pegs are on the bike, I just wanted to show them to you real quick before getting to the install process. That way, if you don't like the way they look, you can just skip this video. Um, these are the Moons MC MX style pegs. I put them on the front and rear. And I do want to say that they super grip your feet. I'm super impressed with how much they grip your feet, even more so than I thought they would. Um, I also believe they look pretty cool now that they're on. I'm happy with them. Originally, I was gonna go in a different color because they have all different kind of colors, but I just don't like sticking out that much, I guess. I decided to just leave them as is with the black color. I think it's probably the right choice for my bike. Um, as far as the frustration part of it, well, first off, when I first got this bike, it came with the single seat, that seat right there. And this is the first brand new bike I've ever purchased. And I didn't even think to look to see if it included rear pegs. Um, and it didn't. So I had to purchase the mounting bracket before I could even purchase the peg. And that's not cheap. And honestly, it kind of blew me away that that's not something that's included in the bike. All the other Harleys I've purchased, they were used. So I'm assuming whoever had them before me went through that pain and purchased them so i never even thought about it and the other brand bikes i've had they were included so um i guess that's a lie i did, I did buy one other brand new bike and that was a suzuki hayabusa in like 2007 but even that bike it had first off it came with a rear seat that popped on and off with a cap that you could replace the rear seat and it also came with the rear pegs mounting and the peg itself so um that blew me away so anyway something to think about if you're buying a brand new harley um but honestly that wasn't like my big frustration with the video because i had figured that out before i decided to put pegs on the bike what my frustration was with with mounting the peg to the harley davidson bracket because the standard peg on the rear set, it works on the front set. On the rear set, it won't work. So you have to buy an adapter, and this is a Bitwell adapter. And um, that was unexpected, so halfway through the video, I had to stop, order that, wait for it to come before I could finish the video to put the peg on. So we'll get into that a little more here in a bit. But that's where my main frustration came. I was planning on having this video done about three weeks ago, and then I got sick as well to the point that I thought I had COVID. So I went and got tested, both the rapid test and the regular test. Both came back negative, so it turns out I was just regular sick. So imagine that. Um, kind of irritated me though because the rain's coming and looking at the forecast, the snow's coming. So I kind of got screwed out of my last two, two weeks almost three weeks opportunity to ride this bike. I'm hoping that the forecast is wrong and I can sneak in a couple more rides before we get the lovely snow here in Idaho. So let's get into the install process. If I didn't mention it, I do want to note that these things hold your feet very well, but I think I already mentioned that. So let's get into the install. Okay guys. Here's my explanation of the nightmare I've been having with foot pegs. I wouldn't believe that putting pegs on my bike would turn into such a nightmare, but it's honestly one of the most frustrating, frustrating things I've done to the bike so far. And here's my explanation. So the Moon's pegs, first off, they're su su uh, super solid. I really like the construction. They're super light um, and you can replace these and they give you like four of them. So if one of those goes bad, you can unscrew it and put another one in. Um, here's 
One thing that I do like and I want to point out is that it's got these different mounting positions. So you can, once you get this on the bike, you can kind of put this where you want to mount it up. And that's great on the front pegs, but the issue comes in right here. So on the front pegs, all you need is a single hole to mount this and they work fine. The problem is on the rear peg, you need two. And I picked this piece up um, from Bitwell. They make this. And the reason you need two holes is because this spring drops into that hole and then a little ball goes onto it. And then you put, and then this rests on this, which mounts inside of the Harley-Davidson mount for the rear pegs and kind of works like this. So just imagine the spring and balls in there. When this is all hooked up, that ball would be sitting right there and that would be the out position when you have a rider on the back. And then when you click it up, the ball rests in this other hole and that's what holds it up. So that would be when you don't have a rider. So, um, like I was saying, this only has a single hole, not only that, when this is sitting in the mount, this is too thick to fit in there. So you'll notice this is thinner. So when it's sitting in the mount and this squishes down, that still sits in there. Um, this was my solution to that and I thought it was gonna be fine and it'll work, but what I don't like is I lose this ability to have a secure mount because of that kind of ratchet system in there because this is just smooth so essentially i just gotta um, put it down or tighten it down really hard with some loctite and i wouldn't do that on the front pegs but on the passenger peg it's they're not going to be as abused so i don't think they'll slip and i'll keep a close eye on them but i just wish that Moon's MC would have took that into account and built a set like this with two holes that was thinner to fit on there and it would ride a little cleaner because now I'm also going to have these sticking out a little which might actually be more comfortable for the rider. I'll show you what that looks like on the bike just because they can put their feet out a little further or the passenger because they can put their feet out a little further. But just something to be aware of. At this point, I've spent as much figuring this issue out as I would have if I would have just bought a set of Harley-Davidson rear pegs and not tried to match the front pegs. Um, and if I really hate the way this looks, it's probably what I'm going to do anyway, and I'll just get rid of these. But um, we'll see how it looks and how it functions. The other thing is the finish on these bit wells isn't quite as nice as the peg. So when you put them together, it kind of really sticks out. So, I mean, it feels like a solid piece, but I'm assuming this is steel and this is aluminum. Don't quote me on that, but I think that accounts for the different finish. All right, that's my, my nightmare with foot pegs. And again, I never thought that putting foot pegs on my motorcycle would be so frustrating but it's taken me longer to get this video out than any other video I've done because I've had to order different pegs and mounting options to try to figure out this nightmare. So that's my two cents on that. Okay guys, now that you've once again learned through my mistakes, maybe you can avoid some of these potential issues when you're selecting front and rear pegs and mounting options. With that said, let's move on to the install process. I'm gonna start out by removing some of these small plastic plugs where the Harley-Davidson mounts actually screw into the bike. On the Lowrider S, there's two mounting hole location options, but that's really gonna be determined by what kind of pipes you're running because chances are one of those mounting hole location options will be covered. You'll notice that I used a set of needle nose pliers to take out one of the plugs, and that's because I didn't wanna damage it and I wanted to retain it to fill in the hole under it. On the other side of the bike, I didn't need to save the plug, so I simply knocked a Phillips screwdriver into the plug and then unscrewed it.
From there, you just drop the included bolt through the center of the Harley-Davidson mounting bracket, put some Loctite on it, and screw it into the bike. The directions come with some torque specs, but I don't remember them off the top of my head. I'd say the important thing is to make sure that you feel comfortable, that it's good and tight to the bike, and that your passenger's not going to lose their footing. If you've been riding motorcycles for any amount of time, you know that you should always be frequently checking bolts anyway. Now that you've got your rear Harley-Davidson mounting brackets ready, go ahead and remove your front pegs by knocking out the retaining clip with a flathead screwdriver and a hammer and then pulling out the retaining pin. Be careful as you remove the peg because there is a spring under pressure that you're going to reuse with your new pegs. Now just get your new peg and using the spring, Make sure that both ends of the spring are seated correctly in the appropriate holes and reinstall it using the stock pin and stock retaining clip. Now pick what mounting position you want to use, put some Loctite on the bolt, and screw it in the bike, and then just rinse and repeat on the other side. When installing the rear peg, just take the bitwell adapter and drop the spring and ball into it as I previously noted and then place it onto the included metal bracket. But don't try to push down the spring as it's pretty difficult. There's quite a bit of tension on it. Instead, use the Harley-Davidson mounting bracket and just push the metal piece into the bracket and it'll easily push the spring down. Now just reinstall the stock retaining pin and clip and check for functionality by ensuring that it stays up in the up position and down in the down position. Now just get your passenger peg, put some Loctite on the bolt, and tighten it down to the mounting bracket. Okay hey guys, that's it for this one. Just remember Murphy's Law when you're putting on motorcycle pegs. If anything can go wrong, it will. Seems like it's always the dumb stuff that hangs me up. So hopefully the next project goes a little smoother and I can get the video out a little sooner.
In the meantime, if you're enjoying my videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and ring that bell. That way you won't miss out on my future content. If you haven't figured it out so far, I really hate being sick and I feel like I'm finally getting my voice back. So maybe on the next one, I won't be so cranky. Until then, this is Nick with Idle Up and Keep Up. Thank you.